My name is Amy Rogovin, and I'm a member at Beth Jacob Congregation. We're so happy to be participating in Clean Speech Minnesota. Throughout this 30-day study course on the laws of Lashon Hara, we have focused primarily on words, choosing words, avoiding words, using words to build people up rather than tear them down. However, the human capacity for communication includes additional ways of getting the message across. For example, a smile of approval at just the right moment can be more heartwarming than a compliment. Or with a wink and a nod, two people can share a moment of wordless derision that tears their victim apart. Often, facial expressions, gestures, and body language can tell a lot more of the story than the words themselves. Even the confessional prayer on Yom Kippur mentions disdainful eyes. After all, what's an emoji but a small, wordless facial expression? And oh boy, can that say a lot. Facial expressions, gestures, or body language that convey something negative are also considered Lashon Hara. Another Lashon Hara pitfall can be found in subtle implications that are not negative, but suggest something negative. For example, I can't tell you what Jeff did in school today. I don't want to speak Lashon Hara. No real insult was said, but everybody listening still got the message. Jeff did something stupid. Ever hear of a backhanded compliment? It sounds like something nice is being said, but it also implies the opposite. For example, if you say, Karen's doing really well, she's come a long way. Then the implication is, once upon a time, Karen must have been a hot mess. Conclusion, even the most silent or subtle person can still say a lot of the Shon Hara. Here's our daily to-do practice. Today, pay careful attention to gestures and facial expressions. Note the emotions that are communicated even more than any words that may be said. Thanks, have a great day.